from wide. Some will skid in, some might turn and bounce. Boy, do they need Paul Collingwood now. He's going to fight and fight hard. You know that every time he's got an England shirt on. This time he's gone for the big shot. Man in the deep, takes the catch. Everything going their way. The catching's great, the captaincy's great, the bowling is backing it up. And England can't believe what they're seeing. Sir Alan Stanford, he's loving this. They're loving this. It's dancing all around the ground. And also on it because of this. Can't hang around. Looking for his big shot, it's his release shot. And Sarwan's in the way. Didn't get all of that. Paul Collingwood has gone for 10. It's 54 for six. Against Middlesex and the big three. Chanda Paul, Gail, Sarwan didn't get any runs. And it was Andre Fletcher who stepped up. And Kyron Pollard and Sylvester Joseph, they got the runs. Can the same happen for England? Up in the air, mid on there. Will it clear him? He gets himself under it and takes the catch. They are not dropping a thing at the beginning of the week. Everything was hitting the turf. Now it's going in the middle of the hands. Sir Alan celebrates, everyone celebrates. This has been just about perfect for the Stanford superstars. Nothing going down at all. He's looking for the big hit. Just looking to hit it on the up and get it over the boundary, muscle it for six, it doesn't get there. It arrives, Sammy hands high, collects and completes the catch. A dance to go with it as well, they're well on top. The right gone for one, it's 59 for seven. This bowling department, they've got Harmison, Flintoff and Broad. So if they can on, get Benny, to 100, on, they've got a chance. You must never give up in this game of cricket. The pressure of chasing for the cash. Everyone now expects the superstars to win. A couple of early wickets and the crowd will be quiet. <laughs> but you've got to get to 100. England don't look like they're going to get to 70 at the moment. It's 64 for eight. Swan goes. Super bowling. It's the quicker one. The quicker one from Suleiman Ben. Big Ben. He's coming from a great height, and he just spears this in. Gives himself room, but it's right up in the block hole, and he can't get that away, Swan. And he's off. There's the celebration. Leaps through the air. It's because he's got wicket number eight. And the Sanford superstars, well, they're flying. England, 64 for eight. Well, a lot of the England batsmen guilty of exposing their stumps. I know you have to move around, you have to improvise, but a lot of batsmen have been bold going across to the offside, leg stump gone. Swan and Bell went over to the leg side and lost Three. their stumps. Just subtle changes Three. needed. Two walls that come over there again, then. Eh? Save the boundaries. Well drilled. The superstar really well drilled. Head coach is Eldin Baptiste. Eldin Baptiste played for Kent in county cricket a few years ago. Roger Harper is his assistant. Did you say a few years ago? Quite a number of years ago. Thank you. Played a bit at North Ants as well. Played for Kent, played for North Ants. Eastern Province, Natal, he's been around. Coming back for two to Chris Gale. And gone. Steve Armisen will have to come in. Good recovery from Chris Gale. A run out brings about the ninth wicket. Well, they say never run on a misfield, but I guess when you're playing for 20 million and things are as desperate as they are for England, a lot of things, a lot of rules, a lot of theories go out the window. Chris Gale down early. Didn't pick it up cleanly, but he recovered quickly. And in the end, it needed just a decent throw to leave Samit Patel out of screen. Samit Patel goes for 22. 19 overs completed, England 92 for nine. Well, you can bet your life that England will be stunned. Winning the toss and batting first on what looked to be a decent pitch, probably the best pitch that we've seen. 
But look at this, Steve Harmison at number 11, last man in, comes in in the last over of the inning, six deliveries to go. But they've got to get hold of this game somehow. You've seen in the commentator's box, so one run under three figures, England, desperate times. Hold him now, it's over, 99 all out, it's 100 to win, Suleiman Ben. Cleans up this inning. Steve Armisen is the last man to go. Look at those figures. Ben, 3.5 overs, 3 for 16. He's been Stanford superstars all over England so far. The crowds are happy and they have every right to be. All the locals celebrating with the Stanford superstars. They've kept England to under 100, they need exactly 100 to win. It's been a good performance from Chris Gale and his entire unit. They've fielded well, they've bowled well, they've hustled tonight, and they have it all to do. Great word, hustle. Been all over England. Ambushed England. This is the end of the inning. Steve Harmison with a swing to leg. Suleiman Ben, deadly accurate. Very tall, beanpole left arm spinner. Finishes with three for 16. England have got it all to do here. Stanford superstars need three figures. They need just 100. Mike Hazeman, who have you got down there? Thank you, David. I've got uh, I've got Darren Sammy alongside me. Darren, you're smiling already. We're halfway through. It was a near flawless first half. Yeah, you know, we um, it was perfect team, team execution. You know, we had a long team meeting this. this